Good morning. We are now leaving Bimini. I'm gonna try to pull out in front of a couple others just so I can send up the drone and get some uh, aerial footage of the whole uh, Bimini Sands Cove. But uh, <coughs> at least coming out of the mouth, it's much flatter than it was uh, any time we've been here. You can see pretty smooth. Heading out a few miles though, it's gonna hit a 18 knots of wind. We're coming from the southeast. And uh, we've got several mini groups leaving together. Um, six already left in one group early this morning. There's another three. And I do believe there's three of us that's leaving now at eight. And then a small, uh, another group at nine. And I don't know who's leaving after that. Last is there one at 10? Yeah. And then another group at 10. So when we all came in together, of course, there was one big group leaving. Naturally, we're not in a big hurry to get back and we don't want to beat the boats up. So we're just going to take it nice, and smooth, slow, and uh, make sure we stay in constant radio contact with each other. You never know what can happen. All right, let me send this drone up. One last aerial footage. somebody else's footage of uh, drone footage for it but right now we're just waiting for one more I believe there's five of us in this group you can see right here we'll all ride out together safety is always in numbers but absolutely had a great time can't wait for next year and hope you all enjoyed like a light lighting up in the dark Got out to act, it's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words behind us and we will stop probably another third up there so uh, keep on moving well we made it back to the boat ramp um, there's a little bit of a current coming in um, putting the boat on the trailer uh, but it's pretty slow going um, we're able to kind of coast it in there and then hook it up with the wench and just wench it up um, and as Adam was pulling the truck and trailer off the ramp, now the ramp's pretty steep, um, the trailer uh, came apart. So you can see um, right here, this center piece normally is in here. Um, so it, it came apart right here at this welding. Um, and then basically fell down and then the whole the whole boat was just bouncing bouncing around um we were able to kind of get off to the side um but currently waiting for Cito. luckily we have trailer coverage with Cito, so they're sending out a giant flatbed to be able to just tow the truck and trailer hopefully so so Cito came through and they have found a guy who will come out and weld the piece back together, I guess, for us. Um, he's going to come out today because he's currently on another, another trip with somebody else right now fixing their trailer. Um, so we are going to try to inch forward into a spot so we're no longer in the way now that there's a game plan. And we're probably going to see if we can drop the trailer so that we can take the truck and maybe go grab some food and head out. Um, 
but yeah that that center arm is sitting down low um, let me see if I can get a some better footage of it See what happens well it's been a couple hours but we finally got the trailer fixed on a sunday of all look at this bad boy right here it's got two brackets already done this is eddie over here with unlimited trailers he works anywhere it ends up working with Cito as well too uh from west palm beach all the way to key west um nobody nobody was uh working today so it's a Sunday, it's a weekend, all shops are closed. I was expecting to pay like a couple thousand dollars to get this fixed, especially on a weekend. Absolutely reasonably priced. Um, took a while, he was actually doing a couple jobs earlier and he was in Homestead, which is about two hours away from here to begin with, which luckily, you know, I was at the boat ramp, our hotel's about 15 minutes away. So I said, hey, take your time, go eat some food. We're in no rush. And, he definitely came up, he saved the day. He actually put two brackets in there to make it uh, where it's not gonna happen again. And I learned a little bit of something extra as well too. So tomorrow he's coming to the hotel and putting a bell stopper on there just so we can make this a little bit more safe. But uh, I definitely wanna give a huge shout out to Eddie over here. He worked his butt off in the middle of this and uh, Unlimited Trailer, follow him on Instagram, Facebook. Here's a phone number right here. 786-287-5862 you can text him you can call him um lifesaver no doubt about it absolutely lifesaver eddie thank you so much no problem man hey, anything man. you need we're here to help. <laughs> you have no idea how much you helped us out uh, so, if you guys you know if you have people watching you can go on instagram follow me on limited trailer repair and whatever you need from broward county to key west we're there at any time 24 hours on a sunday 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.